Well, tonight they're out. We have most of what remains from the government's secret JFK files. In the last few hours, 2,800 documents have been declassified. Others remain secret because at the last second, President Trump held some back for further review. Jason Whiteley and JFK expert Ferris Rookstool, they have been digging through those documents all evening. So tell me, fellas, what have you learned? Well, you know, John, right now we're just a couple of hours into this and only a few hundred documents deep. There are 2,891 released today. But among the highlights so far, a former FBI agent who also worked for Hunt Oil here in Dallas, he had a document dated two weeks before the assassination, two weeks before the assassination, warning there would be violence along the parade route back in 1963. That file was given to the Dallas Police Department and to the FBI according to this release. Still, the president rode in an open limousine that day. The FBI also vehemently denying that Lee Harvey Oswald was ever an informant, refuting allegations he was ever paid or assigned a code number to represent him as well, too. Ferris Rookstool, former FBI analyst, he is uh, our resident JFK historian. He also drove all 500,000 of the FBI's files on JFK drove him to D.C. back in 92. What did you learn you did not know before? Well, I got to f finally see the, uh, the actual notes from the House Select Committee investigator in Mexico City, uh, Eddie Lopez, and to see his actual notes with the, uh, the notations and the marginalia, it gave kind of a roadmap of where, what his thinking was when he was headed to Mexico City to try to determine Oswald's actions down there in September of 63. And, and for people who might not know the entire history here, before uh, Oswald came to Dallas, came to Irving, uh, for the assassination in November of 63. He was in Mexico City for a while, and that's where a lot of the focus of the investigation Six was days in Mexico City, he met with a number of officials. He met with Cubans, he met with Russians. But mo most noteworthy, he was trying to get a Cuban visa to go to Cuba. He wanted to, in essence, find a, a, a method for getting to Cuba because he was fixated with Fidel Castro. You can hop on this website as well too, it's archives.gov. If you get on there and start thumbing through some of these documents, you'll see there's problems with the database. Some entries say that if you click on it, you can see three or 400 pages. In reality, there are only two or three there. There's duplication of documents, there's incomplete documents as well too. And this was supposed to be the last document dump uh, as they call it, of all JFK files. It did not happen though. Late this afternoon, if you've been following this, 919 files still remain Correct. withheld. The CIA and the FBI saying, let's don't release those just yet, arguing to the president to keep them secret a little, a little while longer. President Trump's going to make a decision about that come April. And we learned tonight too, despite Congress ordering that all of these should be released, there's no sanction requiring the president to do so. So President Trump might not require all 900 to be released. Another president could do it as well in the future. We'll find out uh, in the future what the president decides in April. Ferris is back on News 8 Daybreak. I hope you get some sleep tonight. Thank you. But we do want to know what is in this for I'm going to stay up all night and read these. Our morning program. Watch for Ferris at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Jason Ferris. The Jeff K. Files obviously hold some special meaning for us here in Dallas. We're right there. Dealey Plaza. Live picture. President Kennedy was assassinated just yards from our WFAA studios. And I'll, you'll excuse me if I am out of breath. A bulletin, this is from the United Press from Dallas. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. That was Jay Watson. He had just run from Dealey Plaza back to our station. We continue to pour over the documents. Overnight, we will update you on Facebook. And then tomorrow morning, News 8 Daybreak, we'll detail all of what we find in them.